Jerusalem is the throbbing heart of Israel's tourism industry. Millions of visitors from across the globe come to the city each year, eager to immerse themselves in centuries of human history. It's also the spiritual home to two of the world's major monotheistic religions, Christianity and Judaism, while its old city walls also contain Islam's third most important holy site. But Jerusalem has suffered a dramatic fall in the number of incoming visitors since the summer. We're in the old city of Jerusalem, just a stone's throw from the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Now usually around here it's swarming with tourists, but today it's actually quite quiet. That's because of the impact of the Gaza wars had on the tourism industry. Now we've come here to Jerusalem to speak to businesses and see how they're coping with the downturn. <laughs> Two, three months ago it was really a uh, slow business and uh, maybe because the uh, little troubles happens before like two, three months. And we wish to be better in this uh, future, you know, in the, still this year. Um, but no, actually it was the really slow business in this uh, two, three months ago. No business, no business. Zero. The business, it's very bad, very bad. My friend, my neighbor, my neighbor, he is six day, only sell 50 shekel for six day. You know, six day, 50 shekel, it's nothing. He need for every day, he need more than 100 shekel for family, for daughters, for uh, kids, uh, you understand me? The number of tourists visiting Israel ebbs and flows depending on the security situation in the country and the Palestinian territories under Israeli occupation. Bouts of violence between Israel's army and Hamas militants based in Gaza, a narrow coastal territory that borders Egypt to the south, have scared off incoming tourists many times. Until the Gaza war, it was a tremendous uphill trend that would set a record here compared even to the two previous years, which were each in itself a record year. July and August, uh, there was a drop of between 20 to 30 percent in incoming tourism. Uh, and I believe that this still is going to take a number of months. Based on our experience, in past experiences, we had air operations in the Middle East once in a year and a half, couple of years, three, four years. It takes between three, four months, two, six, seven months until we fully recover. And we hope that this will also be the case. It is not an equal damage all over the country. It's mainly the damage of Tel Aviv, Jerusalem, and the northern part of the country. It's a bit ridiculous because all the battles and fights, etc., took place elsewhere. However, the impact was on the other side of the, of the country. Nowhere within Israel's internationally recognized borders has tourism suffered as badly as it has in Nazareth. Hotels and guest houses in the small northern city reported steeper rates of cancellations than Tel Aviv and Jerusalem. So we were waiting for the season to come in July and August and um, September, October. Yeah? And actually in July the war started. We had a lot of reservations before this. Our system was fully booked for, for July and a lot of reservations already for August. We have a lot of tourists from, from Europe, yeah? mainly from Europe. Everybody cancelled. Yeah? The whole system was empty all of a sudden. It's almost 100%, almost. Few tourists, few travelers stayed here. They used to be here in the country, already arrived. Some of them, they were courage to come, even in the beginning of the war, I'm talking in the beginning of July. They arrived to the country and they stayed. So this is a few, few numbers, like just a few numbers uh, who stayed here and traveled, but everything was empty and all cancelled. As well as the fall in foreign visitors, the predominantly Arab city witnessed a dramatic slump in the numbers of Jewish Israelis visiting. While fighting raged in Gaza, Israel's foreign minister called on Jewish Israelis to boycott Arab businesses. Nazareth has been held twice. Once is, as the whole country has been suffering from incoming tourism, who coming from all over the world, who stopped and cancelled their visit. 
So Nazareth being uh, infected the same. And the other side, the other part is the domestic tourism. We need a lot of efforts, especially from the state, to understand, not to have somebody like the, the deputy prime minister and uh, foreign affairs minister during the war saying, boycott the Arabs. Now, when they say boycott the Arabs, it's not Jordan. Like the closest Arab that will be boycotting, it's the Israeli Arabs or the Palestinian Israeli Arabs. Most of the Israelis that I've met believe that the recovery is coming, but it may be too late for some of the people and small businesses that rely heavily on tourist traffic. In the previous summer, uh, I, I, I earned for about uh, between 60 to 80 shekel for, a, like, uh, for an hour, and now it's reduced to 40, 50. It will be very hard to stay open, very hard. Even though we have the internet, still it's uh, only 30% or 25%. We really need the tourists to come back, really. And uh, Yafo is very beautiful, so <laughs> you should come. And uh, don't be afraid. <laughs>